Hello, my name is Ming Jie Lei. I'm a tenor from China. And I'm Alan Hamilton, pianist from Texas originally. <laughs> uh, to me, the piece "Die Schöne Müllerin" uh, that is very special and dear to me. It has this deep inner dialogue within my head,、uh, speaking about your life, your love, and all the emotions for the first time. It's something special to me that. In in real life, it is difficult for some people to express the emotions, but they do have the same emotion as just as the people who speak out. But they have this inner dialogues a lot, just to find try to find an answer without express their inner emotion. Yeah, and it's something that's really, really special about this cycle because、uh, there are very few times that you hear words that are said by other people. It's constantly, you know, what's happening in his head, how he feels about the things that he's experiencing around them, and it's it's beautiful to see a window into someone else's soul and to have that sort of connection.、Mm-hmm. I think to them, and I think it's something that the audience. Relates to I think the first recording of Schöne Müllerin that I fell in love with was the the early Diskal recording that、mm-hmm. he made when he was like in his thirties or late twenties、mm-hmm. and、uh, it just the the beauty of the music and the storytelling that I think so wonderful I didn't even realize that it was strophic that it was the same sometimes the same music. You know, five times in a row because I was just so enwrapped in that inner monologue of what、mm-hmm. you're talking about, that storytelling. So I think that's something beautiful about、uh, Schöne Müllerin, and as you said, to see the development over a period of time, all the different emotional states that he goes through, different from just a picture in one cycle.、Mm-hmm. I think it's really wonderful. Well, to me, the dialogue's coming from a always a thought. What you see, what you hear, it's a reaction to my inner、mm-hmm. voice dialogues in my head mostly.、Uh, obviously, the Bach,、uh, the stream won't speak back to me or talk to me at all. So, so in your brain, is everything that the Bach or the stream says is that is that him putting those thoughts and putting those ideas onto it? Those are just pictures of his own mental state. Is it? For I、you? think it's more some, something like. As I'm looking for someone to give me a proof to the、mm. to the thought I've been having,、mm-hmm. yet I'm too afraid to ask for actual people out there, but uh-huh, uh-huh. sit in my corner and talk to the Bach. So do you think he's a he's a lonely person in that sense? Well, he's a reiser. He's in the trip all the time, yeah, yeah. you know, as the job yeah, yeah. requires. I think. He's not lonely by accompanying, but he's lonely. For someone to understand him the way he wanted. Ah, I see. Yeah, and he maybe has trouble even connecting with people, but he feels this very strong connection to the stream, because he's able to sort of project his feelings and his ideas onto the stream, and he feels that it that he's in this dialogue. Then absolutely, I mean,、stream. to me, it's also it's nature. You can see through the stream. You can see where it's coming from and where it goes. He has not、mm. not any chemical. Covered you. It's just so natural. I think he yeah, has yeah, this yeah. natural trust to the,、yeah. to the nature as well. Yeah, trust is interesting because his relationship with other people, like the Schöne Müllerin, is is fraught. It's、yeah. difficult because he can't. He tries to maybe project his feelings onto her, but he. But he doesn't really know、yeah. what he's getting in return. Whereas with the Bach, it's very simple. He's invited to go on the trip. He hears promises of something, and he hears the sadness as well, or the comfort at the very end. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, it's it's my final project here. Obviously,、uh, I will be leaving the stage、uh, with sad sadness. It's my.、Uh, My ending time here, but from a happy side, I think to the piece itself, I don't see nowadays with my my older now and in my life experience, I won't see it as a end or death. I would put hope in it to see as a reborn and restart. I can only imagine how I would feel at the end. It's hard because in the piece itself, as as Mingjie said, some people see it as being a very tragic. 
ending, and yet the tragic ending is finished with the beautiful, comforting song of rest in many ways. And uh, I think relief would be the main word. <laughs> Once I get through it, I will feel relieved. But uh, definitely excited, you know, sad to leave the journey of the cycle behind, but uh, excited also for the next performance. Yes. Because we have, we have multiple we have performances. Three. We have three. <laughs> so it depends on which performance. If it's one and two, I will for sure still have a happy eye. I will mm-hmm. still be looking forward to the next ones.